I really couldn't wait to see this piece, and now I'm here. It hasn't changed my mind at all. This is clearly going to be one of the highlights of the exhibition. It's known as the Garden Room from the House of the Golden Bracelet, and it is completely magical. Garden rooms were a particularly distinctive Roman innovation in the history of art, and this is a really fine example. It was discovered in the 1960s in the House of the Golden Bracelet, which was on the west of Pompeii. This is a genuinely Roman innovation. These garden rooms were not influenced by Greek art, and it would be extremely influential in its own right upon the development of landscape. Broadly speaking, the painting's divided into three. You have a lower level of a black garden wall. There's a trellis you can see beyond lots of greenery. Up above, you have architectural details. But the main event is clearly the, the central section of each wall, where the eye is engulfed in this teeming, abundant tangle of vegetation, greenery, foliage, which you feel you could step into and get lost in. But this isn't a realistic representation of the natural world. We know that it's fantasy because we see all of these different plants, flowers and birds coexisting. We see them at the same time when they would never have been flowering at the same time in nature. The eye is taken around the image in a very successful and clever way. So you have these verticals of the trees which are swaying. You can feel a motion in the wind. But to vary it up and to make sure that you don't have all greenery, there's the sky above, which is a different colour and allows a bit of lightness and air into the composition, otherwise it might be too overwhelming. And then on top of that, you have this very dense detail of the flowers, the different types of leaf, and of course the colour of the birds, which takes the eye all the way around. And for me, it's a reminder of the way that the Romans decorated their homes, because they covered every single available surface with something. They had this sort of horror of a vacuum. They couldn't really have any empty space at all. It must be a relief just to have even the blue of the sky. One of the things I love about this painting is that you have these moments of drama. So here you have a kind of face-off between these two birds. You can almost hear insects. There's something about this which, because it it appeals so deeply somehow. There's some ancient myth about paradise here, which is common to all cultures. It makes you want to leap over this trellis wall and start wandering around in the foliage. Who knows what you'd discover? <laughs>